Hey everybody, the last one of these that we're going to do before we choose one to color in and kind of finish up is three point perspective. As you can tell, three point perspective is a little bit different. It's a little strange looking almost at times. Um, and it kind of looks like we're flying above this or in the midst of a city. Uh, and we have a distortion point or a vanishing point here at the bottom, which I'll just call the BVP or the bottom vanishing point. We have the left vanishing point and a right vanishing point. What I would suggest for setting these up is again to um, put a horizon across the backside on that horizon, have one of your vanishing points closer and one of your vanishing points a little further away, just so you get kind of a more interesting effect as opposed to everything just looking like it's going straight to the middle and these are equidistant. Uh, you'll notice I actually shifted this off to the side too, uh, just to give a little bit more room for that vanishing point there. So we'll go through the process and set this up. Um, like we've done with others. Uh, similar, just start out with a little outline. Make sure you have all the same tools, equipment, and stuff that you had from before. And obviously right away we want to get started by putting a horizon in. I wouldn't suggest putting the horizon very low. Um, that'll distort things really funny or put it very high. I would say a little bit above halfway would be a good point. So two-thirds, maybe you know, 60% up. 55% of the way up. And then make sure it's obviously um, parallel and perpendicular like we've done before. And then obviously we'll just put in and pick our vanishing points. We can pick one a little bit closer and one a little bit further away. We don't need to make it super extreme uh, when doing that. And then we'll pick a bottom vanishing point. We don't need to have a vertical line here. Some people do like to put a vertical line in. I'm just gonna pick a vanishing point, not too far off the bottom, but maybe like here. And if you want to put that vertical in, you can, but you, you're not really required to. Uh, and then we've just got to look at how we're going to go about doing this. We want to um, build kind of the corner of the building off of this bottom vanishing point. So I'll start out by lining this up and we'll just construct a building that is going to go below the horizon. Here's the horizon. The top of the building is below the horizon. Um, and so from here, we're going to go off the right side here and here to the right vanishing point, right vanishing point. We'll take this corner here and we'll keep this one light because we're not going to do it for very long. We'll keep this one light because we're not going to do it for very long. And then at a certain point, I'm going to choose across this line here where I want to stop this building. So maybe I'll stop the building here and then I will, like I did before, take this point back down to the vanishing point and when it hits that line stop there so i've now just kind of did the side of this building if i've got extra line work there i can get rid of it and get rid of it again as you get more comfortable with this you probably realize you don't always need to draw your lines to the um, side vanishing points to the left or to the right you can draw them just as far as you think you might need them what you're going to see is the bottom of these buildings you're not going to need nearly as much as the top, as the objects get closer to the horizon, they're gonna look bigger. And so here I just stopped that line. We'll take from this point and go to there and maybe I'll tighten it up a little bit. Go to here, give a little bit more room. And then we'll just erase the extra that's over there. And because this is below the horizon line, we still are gonna see the top of this building. So we need to go to the opposite side. So from this side here, We'll turn and go to the left vanishing point. There, there, and pull it across. And again, I don't need to go all the way across. I'll just use the ruler to help point me in the right direction and draw it to where I need. And then anything extra I can get rid of. So this is what a building below the horizon might look like there. Okay, so we can see above it like we're flying over top of it. We can see the top of that building. We're going and put in another building back here. Maybe we will put it behind this one. We'll do a little trick with that. We'll put it here. And then we'll take the side to there. Out. We'll take this side out to there. And these are kind of going the same angle. What you'll notice is when we get over top of the horizon that the building's actually going to look like it's angling down here and then down here because it's over the horizon. So we cannot see the top of that box or the top of that building. So then when we'll say this will end here, we can bring that one down to the bottom point. And if we want this one to end here, bring that one down 
And then anything that's extra here, again, we can trim and erase off. And like we've done before with other buildings, if we want to do something more fun with these, we can start to change and adapt and adjust those. Maybe on top of this building, I want to put part of another structure that is um, like growing off this building. So I could do that here and have it as if it's like a piece of the building, like a second story or another area of that building. Kind of like maybe how the Sears Tower looks in Chicago where there's and different parts to the building. And so now this looks like that's resting on top of there. You could go in and start putting windows. You could start putting cutouts in. Uh, we'll go ahead and do that on this one. It's like we've done on a couple of the others here. This will go to here. This will come back down. Hopefully you're all starting to really understand this based on doing this a couple different ways. This will come back down here. And this one will shoot back over here. So again, there's really only three directions that you're supposed to go in this one. The directions are to the right vanishing point, to the bottom vanishing point, and to the left vanishing point. Sometimes your lines may end up looking horizontal or they may end up looking vertical like this one does because they happen to line up with the vertice that's there or the horizontal line that's there. I'd ask again that you have about five different components to this, maybe six, seven, eight. By the time it's all done, if you add some windows in, add a cornice or a roof line or add some extra elements, all right? And then when you're done, you wanna clean it up. So the horizon obviously will show in the middle of the buildings. Uh, make sure you erase that out real nice. Uh, and then clean up any areas that, you know, you see little scuffs or anything like that. Uh, again, five kind of main things and then maybe get it up to like eight or nine little components in total that are a part of it. Uh, and again, when you're done, grab your Sharpie, grab a better Sharpie than that one, <laughs> grab your Sharpie and finish it up. After you're done with this one, uh, I'll put one other video together and talk about choosing one of these to kind of carry out as a more finished artwork and how you want to go about doing that. Okay. Thank you so much. Take care.